Welcome back to Europa Barbarorum 2 version 2.35. This is episode 3 of Macedonian Restoration. So what we've done last episode, we have managed to obliterate an Epirot army. Pyrrhus has unfortunately died and some of his remaining troops have retreated to Sparta here. Unfortunately, because I had so many things to talk about with regards to Pyrrhus and Antigonus and their rivalry and hostility, maybe we'll find some space and time to chat about it within this episode on some of the episodes that will follow but he died unfortunately we were besieged uh, here and Corinthus was besieged by him and if had i delayed march from pella down south here for a single turn i think we would have lost Corinthus because what happens with the medieval too of course is that you have besieging army and straight away they get uh, sieging equipment in the next turn so it's much much quicker than the standard uh, rome total war we had so yes this was a very very needed step and i'm glad we took it otherwise we would have lost Corinthus here now what i want to do now is the same very same turn as of, as we've defeated and killed pyrrhus we would like to re uh, relieve the siege here of demetrius while we can before we do that i wanted to give potential successor this uh, ancillary to to our heir here voila alcyonius he was now uh, he's now potential successor that will give him more of a chance of becoming uh, the actual king when and if um, antigonus is uh, dead uh, in reality, he was never a king. He ha happened to die in one of his father's battles. We do not know exactly what happened, but it was the, his son, of course, uh, who would then uh, inherit the kingdom, Antigonus' son, Demetrius, here. And Pyrrhus has actually started as an ally of Antigonus, believe it or not but ended up switching sides yes so what we're going to do we're going to use uh Craterus here uh who is half brother of antigonus he was adopted uh yes we're aware of that he was adopted by demetrius antigonus's father when demetrius ma uh, married Craterus's uh, uh, mom and Craterus is a couple of years older than um antigonus so we're going to dispatch him with all this lot apart from perhaps 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 one or two units we're going to hold back. We're going to hold the most exp expensive one. Yes, back. And the rest, we will dispatch them. Luckily, we have managed to bring the fleet around. So we're going to use this. And we're going to now have this battle with the Greeks here. Pesky Greeks, hopefully obliterating them as well. And relieving Demetrius because we are minus five and a half thousand uh, in debt. And we can't really afford that much of a loss because actually, and this is, yes, this is their bodyguard unit. Actually, yeah, we're losing money because we are besieged here. What happens is because of the blockade, our income has been decreased. So we positioned our archers up front here. We have the slingers as well. Our main infantry line is heavy infantry backed by these uh, units or two units of uh, hoplitae haploi levy spearmen levy ha hoplites we also have unit of uh, skirmishers here in the flank and this is our general so we're going to start advancing towards this uh, greek force that has been deployed here top of the hill and on this side i believe this is our reinforcements arriving now yes okay so we're going to kind of sandwich them hopefully we'll see how that's going to play uh, play out we also have some skirmishes here we're going to send forward to do a bit of damage if, if possible and the rest of the line we have three more units here uh, we're going to place them in a single line this way so this will be our defensive kind of a position defensive wing and with these units here this will be our offensive arm so we're going to be bringing them forward we're going to bring this this infantry line forward and hopefully yeah we'll meet them in the field and we'll hit them in the rear if we can using these units here and it started to rain yes it did okay all right well that's okay we can deal with that i suppose and let's do some damage here Cretans, and this is their main battle line okay 
we're not we're not causing much damage actually if we manage to yeah target this unit here and this is our units of skirmishers yes they're going to be hopefully causing some havoc here okay so we force them to reconsider and they now are moving away and facing the other direction okay that's great and our main line We'll have to bring it forward a little bit quicker than we originally planned. That is good. Okay. So let's let's move. Let's move move them away from here. And where where are the cretans? Cretans, cretans, cretans. Okay, let's let's see. Where is our general? Where is Craters? Okay, let's force them back a little bit. And with the cretans and with our slingers, hopefully we'll be able to... Okay, this is our own unit of slingers. And let's bring let's bring craters to bear down on their uh, skirmishes here. And we'll attack them here as well. Right, what's happening here? Okay, where is our other unit of skirmishes? There it is, it's still skirmishing. Okay, we'll... We, well, we ran out, ran out of ammo there, unfortunately. So yes, where is their main battle line? Why are you not withdrawing? Withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. Okay. So their main battle line, we're not sure where it is actually, because I think that most of the units, oh, they're chasing, chasing us. Okay. Oh well. All right. Now Craterus is running right into the spears. We don't want that. I don't want to do what I almost done last turn when. Uh, Elephants managed to actually recover and almost killed Antigonus in the process. That wasn't very nice at all. That wasn't very nice. That was very foolish of me. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want this. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Okay, let's just chase them. And maybe let's bring, let's bring this unit here as well. All right. Where is our Craterus? There it is. Okay, they are scattered now all over the place, the Greeks, they are everywhere and our units here hopefully will start to throw their javelins at them. Okay, what's happening here? Okay, and this is our unit of slingers and our cretans, what are the cretans up to? Okay, cretans maybe we can engage this unit here. Maybe let's attack them actually. Let us just attack them. I think we're just going to attack them and slaughter them that way. Okay. Alright. Craterus. Yes, fantastic job. Okay, we're going to also engage their uh, unit here that, that's been kind of left behind. And let's see. Craterus. Let's bring Craterus and charge them in the rear as well. And we'll get more units here to support. Okay, and what's happening with the Cretans? All right, Cretans are doing okay. I think they're causing a lot of damage. Let's bring them this way. We're not in a hurry. We're just going to yeah, harass them, harass them as much as we can. So we brought Craters down upon them as well from this side, and we're going to withdraw him, and we're going to charge with the unit of our hoplites and there is something else going on here ah okay yeah there's one more unit they have here oh unfortunately he took some casualty took some damage okay yes they have one more unit here of oh gosh and they receiving all this fire 74 73 so yeah, they've been totally decimated this is their unit of uh, the bodyguard unit okay Right, let's bring Craterus back. Where is it? Oh yes, let's just charge this unit here. And with Hoplitai, Hopl uh, Hoplites, we're going to charge their Hoplites into the rear. And we also have this sneaky unit of Levy Hoplites. Are they routing now? Okay, they seem to have routed. And this unit, we will be facing them, hopefully, this way. Right, what happened here? Okay, are we managing to do the damage? Yes, I think it's time to withdraw him. And what is happening with these guys, these fellas here? Oh gosh, they're taking all the damage they can get. 
and they are now charging us i believe oh, well let them try that's fine let them try and in the meantime yeah i'm going to just yeah surrender them S uh surround them sorry right where is our craterus craterus i think i need you to charge this unit here once again once again yes and this unit got it got itself surrounded and we're going to charge them this way and perhaps charge these fellas too right what else is happening aha uh -huh. we need urgently to support this unit here it's not doing great at all not doing great at all all right let's bring this unit here this way okay yes because there is a risk there they might route mm -hmm. all right so this is done okay this unit is also routing now it seems let's just yes let's just slaughter them let's slaughter them if we can and this two actually will oh end of battle okay so fine we're done here so we're going to now chase them i think we're going to chase because i want to be a bit more decisive this time and we'll come back later on and see what the final tally is okay so we chased them down in a true macedonian alexandrian fashion caused all this damage they will they were obviously very heavily outnumbered so uh, our general yeah gained couple of uh, yes chevrons of experience which is great nothing else had happened so let's have a look so here we are we defeated their army there was a message uh, about some of the enslaved soldiers being uh, freed or ransomed so i offered the ransom they declined the greeks have declined and we have actually uh, enslaved them there wasn't many of them then we've ended the turn the only thing i've done before ending the turn is actually targeting ptolemaeus here the new epirot and um, basileus and then i've ended the turn so this is turn five now and what happened in the meantime uh, basileus uh, epirus's uh, epirus's new uh, king and pyrrhus's son he fled from us as you can see here we're still targeting him however the greeks came back in force and besieged corinthus and we also have another Greek army that is stationed here now, advances towards Dim Demetrius. So what we're going to do before anything else, we're going to deal with this gentleman here. We're going to get rid of them first, so we might want to fight yet another battle. Now we'll leave the Epirots here in peace for the time being, because this is a more urgent business. So let's have a look, let's see if we can lift the Siege of Corinthus right so we're going to try and defeat this army now so it's a second battle and we are uh, uh, reinforced by our garrison from corinthus now let's have a look how that's going to work out okay so we are back so what we have again is in the center we have our uh, phalangites here we have our hippas pistai and uh, some of the medium infantry here on the flanks as well on this side likewise we have some medium and we have the galatians etc and in the center are the pikes of course and we also positioned yes uh, our missile infantry uh, cavalry sorry on the flanks so let's see what the uh, greek army is going to do here they're already within the range of our uh, archers so we're going to try now and hopefully uh, envelop them somehow because our line is now extending their line so we're going to do that we also have left uh, our other general our faction air we left him inside inside Corinthus as a garrison so we're going to bring him forward and yeah we're going to try and harass them and see what can be done here they're in what is this oh yes their only unit of cavalry is now fleeing this way trying to reposition themselves let's see if they're withdrawing or they're going to fight for it actually uh, it seems that there will be a fight it seems that they are fighting for it this is one of their other uh, unit i think of gen general unit so we'll try and molest them as much as we can and yes this produced some effect not great but okay they are now turning 66 and maybe we will actually yes 
we are now hammering them really really hard our archers as well as our slingers and our infantry line is now changing its direction a little bit so we're going to bring our main army here uh, we're going to march we don't need to run if we can help it uh, let's command them to sort of yes walk there if they going to listen which I'm not sure about and we also want fire at will enabled in all the units that are capable of it and Galatians too please now let's bring the cavalry too these are our Galatians we're going to bring them here and yes so we're not going to hurry we're going to slowly and surely hopefully demolish as many of them as we can we're doing okay we're doing okay we are largely yes by a big margin we are outnumbering them so it shouldn't be much of a problem and we're targeting this unit this is their general yes where are the peltasts our peltasts should be should be should be should be targeting them now so let's see yeah they are heavily outnumbered again and hopefully we'll manage to break them here we're going to send the cavalry forward to harass them and where is the cretans the cre okay so they are now yes let's let's actually start firing i don't think we have the time because by the time they get into range these fellas will turn around and will lose some valuable damage that potentially could be done from the rear there you go okay yes no casualties yet but yes we, it's getting there it's getting there okay let's see if we can actually bring both of our generals here and bring our light infantry here as well and from this side we of course have our Galatians so let's bring them to bear upon their unit of cavalry here they're hippies okay these are yes this shouldn't be much of a problem okay let's get out of there out 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 yes if you can there you go Galatians are uh, yes just a harassing harassing them whilst we can okay there you go we have activated fire at will here hopefully that will help hopefully that will work the magic and this unit can actually yes go back into the close order and let's see let's bring Galatians this way so yeah they taken some damage they taken some damage let's actually yes let's ask let's ask the Cretans to actually do a bit of uh, yeah firing at their cavalry as well and okay our unit of Peltas got caught up here okay we need to withdraw them quickly while we can and Galatians will hopefully support because this is the only unit this is hippies that is the only unit that is capable of actually catching up we'll bring our army forward yes okay excellent now where is our other cavalry units okay they're all here fantastic let's bring them to this side so yeah shouldn't be too difficult hopefully shouldn't be too difficult I hope the only issue I have is that our um, infantry now, not the infantry, but our skirmish is getting, getting bogged down here somewhat. But that's okay, they are faster than most of these units aside from, apart from of course, a unit of their cavalry. Oh god, now it's happening to me again. Yes, okay, there you go. Run, everyone who can. okay so what happened here okay yes our unit of pelters got caught up there in this mess and our infantry is approaching who else do we have here let's see okay let's charge this fellas and this gentleman and this guy's here okay right let's encircle these guys if we can okay this is our pell test let's just switch this fire uh, sorry uh, skirmish mode off and this is 
Okay, so let's catch this infantry, uh, this cavalry unit of theirs. Let's destroy that first. Okay, this is Antigonus. Antigonus will bring him here this way. All right, let's see. Yeah, so there are uh, they are basically now more or less, more or less destroyed. Right, let's see. Okay, Antigonus now will charge this way. Yeah, that shouldn't be much of a problem for us. Dealing with them now. No, this unit will yeah, it suffers heavy casualties, unfortunately. Okay, let's move you here. And these units will also attack them from behind. Okay, I don't think there's much of a problem now. So we only need to worry really about not losing not losing our general here in this fight yes heavily heavily outnumbered Greeks here we have all right let's see let's charge them in the rear and this unit as well and now these are Galatians okay so someone got killed who is this let's see I hope it's not one of ours enemy general fallen okay excellent so yeah, that this is it. I think this is it. This is pretty much it. So the route should begin now, hopefully, at some point. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, now they still have... Still have a unit here that fights, fights on. And yet another unit here. So let's see, we will address... Yeah, we will bring light cavalry to bear upon this unit here. And yes, this these are fighting to the death here now. Okay, this is, I think this is their other general. And who else do we have here? There's someone still fighting. Someone's still refusing to give up. And I'm not sure who it is. Oh no, they are routing all over the place now. Okay, this is good. Oh yes, this unit here, it seems, is still resisting. Okay. Oh no, it's gone as well. Alright, so who is still resisting? Why are we still not getting the victory screen then? Someone's still fighting on. I don't know. I can't see anyone fighting. Okay, let's see. Now, these are the fo being followed. This unit's been followed as well. And... Ah, oh, yes. Is this is this because of this unit here? Got caught up in our spikes and all the rest of it? Is that, is that, is that the reason? 17 of them fighting to the death. 17 brave Greeks. Okay. And we are wiping out everything else on our, yes, in our path. All right, let's see. Yes, this is a bit of an issue here. Okay, all right, there you go. This is a continuous screen. So we're going to go and chase them down. We're going to do it again, wipe them out as many as we can. And then we'll bring and we'll come back later and see what the consequences are. Okay, here we are. Apparently they had three generals in this battle I thought it was only two I should have actually right clicked and checked it so but all of them are dead obviously they didn't stand a chance uh, we are heavily outnumbering them here so all of them are gone we only lost 130 men and uh, let's see they have seven men remaining this is pretty sad so yes our general uh, got one experience and some of our cavalry here as well one experience each so we're going to come back now to the campaign map and see what is happening there okay here is the screen similarly to the one that we've received last turn okay again we captured it seems two of their generals let's ransom them reject it oh game saved i've managed to save the game just in case it would crash hopefully enemy camp captured so antigonus has captured the enemy camp he's now improving his command he's up to five stars now so doing great uh, okay shield bearer excellent so this is it for now so we've dealt with this army i think we're going to save it now we're going to be able to hopefully defeat this detachment here as well next turn and maybe maybe even this turn but i want to save it now because otherwise it's going to be a bit too lengthy so we're going to save it now we need to defeat one and two so we kind of yeah we're in a diff difficult strategic situation here between the two of them unfortunately 
doesn't work too well for us because uh, what happens Our here, base? they do not fight each other, these two. But it's left to us now it's to deal there. with them and they have quite strong garrisons here in both of these towns. So thank you for watching. If you like what you see, would like to see some more of it, please subscribe. Like leave a comment down below, tell me what you think, anything I can improve. You haven't played a Medieval 2 in ages, so let me know what you think. And thanks again for watching, I'll see you in the next episode.